Hello guys, Luna here, back with more PUBG Xbox videos. Yesterday I was so sure we would see weapon skins announced, but I should have guessed the actual info yesterday would be something disappointing. I'm going over the whole weapon skin thing, talking about the PUBG Summer of Sweepstakes, and when are we going to see War Mode, plus looking a little bit into the grips added in the latest patch. Guys, if the video is helpful, smash the like button, it really does help me out. Now, we are all super excited about an announcement yesterday, it was hyped up a lot since last week. Nico and everyone else made it seem like they were going to mention something about new in-game stuff. Certainly, people on Twitter thought so. Nico said in the live stream on Xbox Wire, we're going to announce some exciting stuff for the rest of the week and what they're going to be doing for the rest of the summer. Well, guys, the awesome news is you can win this PUBG bus, but only if you live in the USA. The whole summer long, the PUBG bus will be touring handing out prizes. So guys, that was the news that they hyped up. It was disappointing to say the least, especially having it limited to the USA as well. The rest of us really don't get any prizes. But where does that leave weapon skins? Well, Nico addressed this today saying that weapon skins dropping in crates is a bug. PUBG crates dropping is a bug. They will address it officially later today. So guys, no weapon skins for us just yet. But I guess it's not bad news. We do know that they are in game now and that means it shouldn't be too long before we do get them. Right now, they are still testing the systems and working on the user interface for them. But that's where we're at with weapon skins right now. Let's talk about the new game mode then. Gamescom 2018 was announced yesterday and PUBG will be there showcasing a new game mode, playable for the first time at Gamescom. The mode is likely to be war mode, I mean it could be zombies or something else, but since Sandhawk and War Mode have already been announced at E3, I'm guessing they won't be releasing something before then. Gamescom runs from the 21st until the 25th of August. That will be around the same time as the August monthly update. So let's all hope we get the game mode just after it's shown at Gamescom and we don't have to wait another month. They have promised us War Mode and the new map by the end of summer, but summertime doesn't technically end until the 23rd of September, so they can drag it out until then if they wanted to. Either way though, we don't have to wait too long and I really think it's going to make a big difference to the game and here is why. It's essentially a team deathmatch. Right now there is no real way in the game to practice getting kills or even using weapons, so you need to hot drop or just play a lot of games, which many people don't have the time to do, or they simply don't enjoy hot dropping. With war mode, you don't really need to worry about dying so much because of course you will respawn, and it's a great way to then test out and get a better feeling for the game and using weapons skills that you will much more quickly improve in and it will improve your game overall for the regular battle royale mode. So I know I'll be playing war mode more than regular once it drops. I prefer killing than surviving to be honest, mainly because I don't have a lot of patience these days for some reason, which is why when I usually play the regular mode I do hot drop. But war mode is going to arrive sometime after August the 25th once it's been showcased at Gamescom. Next guys, I wanted to quickly talk about the grips and several of you have asked me to make a video on new grips and what's best and when to use what when. But currently guys, the grips are actually broken for some weapons, so it's impossible to test. I can tell you which is best, but I don't really want to make a video without showing you the actual testing. Now, one of the grip issues right now is with the UMP9. Since the light grip was introduced, a lot of you have been saying the weapon is too powerful and it's the best combo even above using assault rifles at close ranges because the light grip makes it too accurate. So I decided to test it a little bit to see what the spray patterns were. You can see it here. It does have a lot less vertical and horizontal than any of the assault rifles equipped with the grip. Of course it would because it has things like a slower fire rate, for example, but it does seem to reduce it by quite a lot compared to those, and it does reduce it quite a bit from having no grip at all. So it's kind of hard to say whether or not the half grip is making too much of a difference compared to what it should. But while doing it, I did actually find something actually more surprising, the lightweight grip, which is supposed to be the worst of the grips because it reduces sway and animation, and it increases recoil. Basically, it's only good at long range single shot fire, but not really because it's arguable that no grip is even better than that. But now instead of seeing a much higher vertical spray than all the other grips like you would expect, it in fact turns this into a laser. You can see it for yourself, there's practically no recoil on the gun with it equipped to the weapon. It's obviously a bug, but guys, if you're using the UMP right now in the game, the lightweight grip is making it better than anything else at close range, instead of being the worst thing to equip. But of course I haven't tested all the guns and grips, but so far it seems to be a UMP9 issue. I'm sure you guys will let me know if you see it on other guns. 
but I know I will definitely be equipping the lightweight grip to the MP9 if I have one. Well guys, I think that pretty much covers everything for now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you disappointed to see the PUBG Summer of Fun for USA and not that we're getting weapon skins, which turns out to be a bug? Also, I want to thank you guys for following me on Twitter. I had like 30 new followers yesterday. I'm not sure why, but I did. If you want to see more PUBG and other Battle Royale game updates, including Black Ops 4 Blackout Mode and the Battlefield 5 Battle Royale, hit subscribe now and join our community here. Also turn notifications to see videos as soon as they are released. Check out any links on screen for more awesome content and you can also submit your clips to be in future videos by leaving your gamer tag below. And I think that's everything covered. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you all next time. Peace out.